We here on the news with Rick Sanchez have been reporting with a sense of constancy on the deteriorating relationship between the United States and China. You know that, right? Just yesterday we shared with you that China was threatening to do military exercises off of our coast. The day before that we shared with you how NATO is targeting China with mandates and how China essentially said, why in the world would we listen to you? Almost 100,000 of you have been watching those segments. Uh, let's just say that all of the parties are angry and nobody is communicating effectively on either side, China, United States, Europe, until this morning. U.S. President Joe Biden spoke on the phone this morning with Chinese President Xi Jinping, where he heard his adversary point out that, quote, due to the U.S. policy on China, the China-U.S. relationship has run into serious difficulty. President Xi then told Mr. Biden that this serves neither the fundamental interests of the people of the two countries, nor the common interest of countries around the world. President Biden then reportedly assured Mr. Xi that the U.S. has no intention to change the One China policy and that it is prepared to have more candid exchanges and constructive discussions with China to identify key and priority areas where cooperation is possible. Mr. Biden then keyed in on avoiding miscommunication, miscalculation, and unintended conflict. He also suggested getting U.S.-China relations back on track. Now, I should say, both leaders then agreed to stay in frequent contact and extensive dialogue to, quote, further develop China-U.S. relations. Why and how did this phone call even come about? Uh, were both or either of these leaders responding or even spooked? by the other side's heightened rhetoric. And most importantly, are these talks really going to make a difference in the end? 